Hey everyone! In this video, I'm trying Mike Chen's Hot Pot Soup Bases. If you don't know who Mike Chen is, check out the YouTube channel Strictly Dumpling. It is a food and travel vlog channel, one of my favorites. He created his own Hot Pot Soup Bases. We're gonna try it in this video. There's the Chongqing Heat and the Rich Tomato. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video. Okay, so here's what we have. We have corn, we have potato starch noodles, we have yam noodles. We have quail eggs, enoki mushrooms, snow white mushrooms, watercress, fried bean curd sheets, fish balls with fish roe, and cabbage. Here is the broth. Okay, so we have spicy on the left, tomato on the right. We have fatty beef, and we have pork belly. So when you order the soup base, it also comes with a postcard from Mike. And it also comes with a sticker that says, I'm a hot pothead. I love it. Um, so I actually bought these online at, I think it, well I went to Mike's channel and I just, I found the links to buy the, the soup base. And on the website, I actually bought them for sale, on sale for Black Friday. Um, so I, I actually don't remember how much it came out to be, but they were like $20. So this came together, these two soup bases, they came together in a set. And I think they were like $20, which is kind of expensive for soup base. Uh, you can go to like a, a, an Asian market and get them for like $5 each. Okay, let's try the... My boyfriend says the spicy is better. Usually the spicy is always better, yeah. but this is the tomato. Uh -huh. Oh my god, it's hot. Yeah. Oh, that's very tomato-y. Yeah, it's good tomato-y for me. Maybe we put some more water in there. Thin it up. More, more water? More, no, water. no, no. I just mean just in general. It's oh, gonna in be general? fine. Yeah. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like tomato soup. Exactly. The yeah. canned tomato yeah. soup, that's what it tastes like. It is very tomato-y. Yeah, that's for dipping like toasted cheese in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, I mean, like, I think maybe we can thin it out by putting more water in there. Let's, let's try it though, it might be good. I mean, it might be good on some of the food, right? So we'll see. This is the spicy? That one is amazing. I love the flavor. Oh my yes. god. Yeah, that's the very mm. traditional Chinese spicy broth. It's not that numbing though. Uh -uh. It's very flavorful. That's what I like. That That's gonna be really good. <laughs> oh my god. Right, let's do a little This more. one, it's spicy, but it's not that spicy but still very, very good. I just like the whole flavor. Of yeah, the, the flavor is yeah, so good. Yeah, way better. All right. It's not that spicy, but like, <clears throat> it's gonna get you in the <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right so where we're going. All right. All right, let's put in the things that are gonna cook the longest, which... The fish balls? Let's, yeah, let's put the fish balls first. You can use your chopsticks, whatever you wanna do. Okay, I'm gonna do this. These noodles right. will take a while, so I'm gonna just put like a little bit on both sides. You want me to just do a couple on each side, right? Yeah. Even though I'm tempted to just put everything in on the oh, right hand no. side there. But <laughs> I mean you can put most stuff on this side, but let's I wanna I wanna eat this broth too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, of course. We'll put most on the right hand side then. <laughs> 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 You're wearing like the worst color shirt for this too. Yep. That's what I do. <laughs> do not wear white. <laughs> <laughs> do not wear white when you're eating hot pot well, in Korean barbecue because it is going all over you. That's what I do. And he already splashed himself when he was I opening the, 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 the base. The good thing these are older white shirts. I want to try one of these. Yeah. I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, I gotta do this. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready too. You ready for Cheers. this? Cheers. Wee! Mmm. 
That's actually good. Mm -hmm. All right, so what did I have on this side here? That's pork. Pork and then the beef, and right? Beef. Mm hmm. I'm gonna do pork, well. beef this side, and pork, beef, beef the other beef. side. I'm gonna do pork on this side. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait. Mmm. Oh my god. I'm in love. Mm. Ooh. No, I'm gonna try this side. What side do you like better? The spicy. The spicy is the best. I'm telling you. That flavor is so good. I can tell the first time I had it. I was like, this is my side. We got we got shipped everything over. It's so good. I <laughs> think that's is. one of the best. Actually, it's getting spicier. At first, it is. It's when burning I did my lips. It. Yep, it's burning my lips mm -hmm. a little too. But I like it. It's I mean, I like so it. So good. Mm. I'd say it reminds me of about a about a. New York medium. A New York medium. Medium wing. New York medium wing. I definitely have had hotter, but yeah. but for people who can't take so much spice, it's pretty good. If you can do it. Okay. Tomato's not bad. Not bad, right? Not bad, but... Yeah. Still, the other one's better. Oh, no, it's just better. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think he has any other... I could be wrong, I, I just don't remember. I don't remember what other flavors he has. Oh, he had other flavors. I don't know, I don't, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I'll let you guys know later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this scent is not popping with a lot of flavor. You know, it's very milder. It's a lot milder. Yeah. Well, I, I don't mind that because like, I think like one should be compared to the other. Let's say you need you need a, a breather. You need a break from the spicy. Right. Usually what people do is they have like a very plain broth on one side, like a like a like a bone broth or a chicken broth or something like that. But I still think there's a lot of flavor in here. It's just not my favorite kind of flavor. What else do I want here? I'm gonna take a bunch of this stuff here now. Mm -hmm. oh, am I can I take those noodles too? Over here a little bit? Oh yeah, yeah. What I like to do is I like to put those in the bowl. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. Uh, that's a few. So these yam noodles, I don't put them in the pot. I just put them in my bowl. <laughs> I like drag them all across the table. <laughs> and then I just pour broth on top of the noodles. Oh, it splashed on me. Dang. Ooh. There's noodles in here somewhere, you said. Yeah, it's in the bottom. I don't know, they're so thick. Would you like some fresh greens in there? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I forgot about them. Maybe this would be better in here. Got you right in the back. Don't slurp. <laughs> yeah, those noodles with that broth. Mm hmm. Mm. Now I've had I've had broth before where. Oh, that corn is good. Mm. Baby corn. Mm. No. I've had broth before where it doesn't stick. The flavors don't stick to the food. You know. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, it kind of has like a thick consistency. Uh huh. So it sticks to the noodles really well. Right, and so you get all that flavor on your food. I lo I absolutely love it. Um, mm -hmm. I've had to where that doesn't happen at all, mm -hmm. and it's just really plain. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm I think it's good, but it's not my favorite. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't order the tomato again. 
But I would definitely get this other one. Like, yeah. Any day. I mean, this is better than a lot of the hot pot places I've gone to. Some of the broths I get there just aren't as good. I agree. So this one here definitely up to par. I totally agree. So you gotta give it to Mike Chen on that one. <laughs> That's good. Mike Chen. Is it Mike Chen? Mike Chen. Mike Chen. Yep. Yeah. That's a good one. Thank you, Mike Chen. Yes. Thank you. I love to experience new foods and flavors. This is good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Those fish balls are good. Are they done? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been, I've been wanting some of them. Ooh, I want some um, quail eggs. Ooh, those are good. I already have one. They say they just stay so hot, you know, yeah, be for careful. so long. Yeah. yeah, you gotta cool them. Down good. Can you put more vegetables? Yes, I can. Or watercress ones. Watercress? You want it in this one? This one? Spicy. Spicy. Alright. For me, you can put them in both. A little right. bit in both. Yeah. I didn't put any of this yet in the spicy. So oh yeah, put that in the spicy. I'm gonna get some meat. Which is your favorite meat? Ah, uh, it's tough. I like going between both, actually. I do too. Because I, if one, one minute I'm like, oh, I definitely love this pork. And then I have the beef. I'm like, oh, I definitely love this beef. Yeah. So, I mean... I guess it depends on if you're a pork or a beef person, but yeah. for me, I like both, so I it just think. doesn't, it goes back doesn't and forth. Doesn't matter, yeah. Uh -huh. They also had pork butt, oh. pork shoulder. Oh, okay. It's more lean than pork belly. But when it comes to hot pot, I tend to like the fattier meats because they melt, they melt your in your mouth. Yeah. yeah, they're so tender, yeah. they melt in your mouth. Yeah. The um, more lean cuts tend to be a little chewy. You know what? I'm pro fat. I really am. I'm pro fat. <laughs> So if you live in an area where you can't find hot pot restaurants or you don't live really close to an Asian market and you want to experience hot pot at home, Mike Chen also sells a whole hot pot kit. It comes with the pot, it comes with the, the base, the soup bases, it comes with, I believe it comes with like fresh ingredients as well. But yeah, you, you can get a whole kit. So that's cool. I had most of the stuff, so I, I wasn't gonna get a whole kit. <laughs> yeah, for two. But that's so cool. I don't know how much it costs, so I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know. And... Ooh. 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 Oh. How did you do that? Perfect. I don't know. I was gonna. I was thinking of grabbing that too. But... That was amazing. Thank you. Pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, it is spicy, actually. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, so the noodles are really tough for me. Alright, the you, big ones? Uh -huh. Can you get them? With I your. Try it. With your. Probably can. How do you do that? It's like, you can use the tongs if you want. No, I know. I just. I just they are heavy. It's time. Yeah. It's time. Mmm. Sound very good. Mm -hmm. Slippy, slippy. Mm -hmm. Thank you.